Ala no Chanda K T News. Ever heard about a university at sea and on the move? Well, that is the story of MV World Odyssey, a cruise ship that docked at the port of Mombasa last week. The ship is carrying 800 passengers, majority of them students from American universities who attend classes take this aboard the vessel daily. KTN's Sada Hassan explored the university at sea and filed this report. MV World Odyssey cruise ship, which docked at the Mumbai support a week ago, is a clear picture of the talents man can hold and turn impossibilities to possibilities. On normal occasions, this is a passenger ship that tours the world with passengers experiencing life at sea for months. But currently, it is a university on water carrying students from American universities. We are given a green light to explore inside and ask questions, but first we have to be tested for COVID-19 and once we are cleared by the ship nurse, we proceed aboard. The ship has a capacity of a thousand passengers. This season it has sailed 800 passengers who comprise students, lecturers and the ship crew. Petros Polakis, the captain, welcomes us and takes us to the library, which has a lounge area for guests. When we are uh, at sea, in a uh, while in navigation uh, they make classes yes every day and uh, when we arrive in the port they're going out for uh, field programs let's say it's the excursions how we call them the seven decks on the ship have been converted to fit a school for example deck five is now a library fitted with computers and a research area deck four has an office for the dean of students nurse and other staff this area is a theater that gives room for entertainment Jelaine Prim and Bella Woodrow are students at sea and they say this has been a life-changing experience. We have been at sea for a little bit over three months now and it has been a really good experience. I'm taking four courses on the ship, um, global studies, abnormal psychology, um, human and family development and women's studies. Most of the students had a chance to visit national parks in the country and explore Mombasa City boosting the local tourism economy. I went to um, the Fort Jesus and the second day I went to a local hospital to the mental health unit um, for one of my classes we had our field class. We just did um, a safari in Savo East and West and then we went to Salt Lake. It's been amazing. We saw all sorts of animals on our safari. My favorite were the elephants and the zebras. According to one of the lecturers at MV Odyssey, this form of studying allows exploration and exchange of culture, which are important aspects in the growth of a child. Kenya's been very wonderful. I uh, took a group of people to um, four different religious sites. I took them to the, uh, the, uh, the Holy Ghost Cathedral. Uh, we went to uh, the Pillar, Pillar Mosque. Then we went to um, the Sh Sri J. Swami Narayan. I think that's it. He explains that teaching on land and at sea are quite different. In a normal classroom, you give them, um, here's a book, here's a video, this is what this is all about, and then we go to the next chapter. Here, it's, here's a book, here's a video, now go and look, and maybe I'm not telling you the truth, or maybe I'm, go, go find out for yourself. Before this ship leaves Mumbai support, a number of inspections and maintenance have to be done in preparation for the long journey to Dubai. The students will then disembark and proceed to their countries and allow other students beginning their semester at sea to come on board in January. It is said that education has no barrier. This cruise ship has been converted into a university with a the theme, the world is your campus. A clear indication that it is possible to promote education, cohesion, and improve the economy of any country anywhere. Saad Hassan, Kate News, at Mumbai Support. Indeed, there are no boundaries in education. Thank you, Sada, for that report, which leads us to our first short break right here on Checkpoint. When we come back, we tell you 